right, the folks, we are down in the Pine Barrens again this weekend, and uh, we're actually going way south in the Pine Barrens to look for Coastal Plains Milk Snakes and meeting up with some friends, and they actually happened to flip two insane looking Coastal Plains Milk Snakes just as we're rolling up here, so we're gonna be there in a minute and check these things out, it should be cool. Holy smokes, that is insane. Yeah. That is like, I've never seen anything like that. All right, so this is the second milk that uh, these guys flipped, and uh, it's a littler guy, but it's also a screamer, as they tend to be down in the Pine Barrens, and particularly in the Southern Pine Barrens, but uh, they're a lot harder to find here, so really fortunate to see these guys. Pretty cool, we're gonna let them go. Uh, we took some pictures and uh, keep looking for stuff. All right, so uh, pretty sweet that we got to see that milk. We were just flipping around the corner. We were kind of teaming up with them to see who could find some milks, and they got lucky and uh, flipped too, or shouldn't say lucky. These guys are good at it. But uh, most insane coastals I've ever seen in my life. I, I uh, yeah, I was ecstatic over those. Insane. So uh, we're gonna cruise a little bit now and see if we can cruise a coastal or really anything. And uh, then tomorrow we're gonna head straight into the heart of the barrens and uh, see what we can find like a pine or anything really so uh, should be cool maybe more coastals tomorrow maybe kings we'll see let's see what we can find tonight though all right we just cruised the first snake of the night it's just a little worm snake common species of snake down here um, so we're just gonna let him go on the side of the road and keep cruising all right, we had some rain pass through. Now we got a rainek crossing the road. Another pretty common snake species. We're just gonna move them across and keep looking. All right, dead little rat snake. Um, we're just gonna toss them off the road and keep moving, but it means stuff's moving, so that's a good sign. All right, here's my life for New Jersey chorus frog. Didn't necessarily expect to see one of these tonight, but pretty cool. Typically, they have more vibrant stripes than this one. You're now going up my arm. Uh, I'm gonna let this guy go and keep cruising. Uh, if I found one with better stripes, then maybe I'd photograph it, but pretty cool. All right, so not too much of anything interesting moving on the road tonight, um, but that's okay, because we got to see those insane coastals earlier. Uh, I'm gonna get back to you tomorrow morning. We're meeting up with our, uh, our friends tomorrow again and we're gonna see if we can find anything else cool. So, uh, I'll let you know. See you then. All right, so this is kind of random, but we just day cruised a corn snake on a sand road on our way to go look for other stuff. Look at that. New Jersey State Endangered Species right here. This is great redemption after, uh, after seeing that roadkill one last week. That Poor one that was dying. Awesome, man. What the hell? I'm gonna get a couple in situ pictures. This is pretty awesome. Is it uh, grab it? Uh, it looks like it could be. We'll be careful to leave it alone. No, it's in.
right, I'm just ducking in the car because it started to rain. Quick roadside board yielded. Uh, second snake of the day, I guess. A nice little red-bellied snake. Pretty cool, this one's kind of light colored. Pretty neat. You let it go and uh, keep looking. Well, this is a real bummer. Check out this damn coastal. This thing is insane. That'd be nice as hell. Damn, that would have been insane. Look at that. That's a big one. Too bad, man. Oh, there we go, racer. It's the first snake I've ever got under my tent at this site, so cool. All right, next. Animal of the day is this nice little boxy. I love box turtles. We're gonna move them across the road because these guys get squashed all the time and let them go on his way. Why don't you do that? I've dropped this tip in numerous videos, but here, Ted, move them across. You always move them across in the direction you're going, and while sometimes, you know, certain areas might look better to you for a turtle, the turtle typically knows where it's going and uh, you should just let it do its thing or else it's going to end up back in the road if you move it to the wrong place. Okay, what on earth? I thought this was a baby pine. <laughs> oh, nice hog nose in the road. I'm going to get a phone picture before he takes off. But look at that. What the hell? Holy <laughs> smokes, dude. It's a good hog nose. For the pine barrens is a nice one. Look at that yellow and stuff. That's cool. Wow. Oh, don't fall out of my hand. Uh oh. That's my bad, sorry. Oh, it's gonna pop right back to life. Pretty cool, we're gonna move this guy out of the road and keep looking. All right, so we kind of waited out the heat of the day and stopped seeing snakes for a little while. Um, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start flipping for coastals again. And I'll let you guys know if, if uh, we find anything here. We're gonna hit some shingle piles and stuff. So could be exciting, might not be, we'll see. Lizard. It's a big sheet of tar paper on the bottom. Yeah, that's that one with all the way on the bottom. I'm talking about there. All right, so we flipped it ton of crap. We only saw a red-bellied snake and some skinks and stuff like that. Um, but we did see those crazy coastals yesterday. We're going to cruise a little bit and then tomorrow probably flip for scarlet snakes. So let's see what we can do and I'll let you guys know. All right. So, uh, oh, wait, 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 one sec. Let me do a little introduction. Get the light on the banana. All right. Before we start cruising, is so they say that like when you're fishing, you can't have a banana in the boat. It's bad luck for finding stuff or for catching stuff. And we're gonna take the same mentality with, oh, oh, hold on. We're gonna take the same mentality with looking for snakes. Now, this banana right here sat in our car. As you can see, it's like, it feels like a water balloon. It has it's some like drawings on it. Totally liquid on the inside. And uh, yeah, why don't we pop that sucker and see what that's like. Right, we're gonna surgically remove the tip first. Oh God. Watch me cut my finger off on live television. Hold on, just squeeze it now. <laughs> no, no, we're surgically removing this and then we're I don't, it's squeezing just all gonna the bottom. pop out. Watch your finger there, dude. Oh, it's still a little more 
solid than I thought it would be. <laughs> like toothpaste. <laughs> oh, yum. There's dinner. All right, all right, I'm gonna start cruising. See, wasn't that so much cooler than going in on the... All right, we just cruised. First snake of the night, a uh, black rat snake that's being pretty spazzy. I think it's Is it good to be gravid? No, it's too young. Right. Probably just has a meal in it. Uh, we're gonna move it off the road anyway. Uh, but yeah. She's busking. Yeah, she's smelly. All right, pull her off and uh, see what else we can find. Here's a worm snake. Ah. He was just doing that thing where it's like, they like, can't get across the road because they're going so, you know, so fast or whatever. Or they can't get any traction. All right, there really wasn't a whole lot moving tonight, so uh, we're gonna set up camp. Uh, it's almost 12, or maybe it's 12 now. And uh, we're gonna wake up tomorrow and see if we can find some scarlet snakes or something. So uh, we'll see what happens. I'll start filming again in the morning. All right guys, so um, scarlet snake hunting this morning did not go as well as I would have liked. We really didn't see much uh, worth sharing and uh, we had a pretty good weekend anyway. We were really tired, so we just decided to kick it at home. So that'll be it for this video. Uh, more ones will be coming up soon. If you like it, then uh, drop a comment, like, subscribe, do something like that that helps me out and uh, thanks for watching.